Annie and I'm here with my sister Lara. <laughs> Hello. If you notice our setting of our rant is in a different location. We're doing a different rant today. It's a double header today, isn't it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we actually have this rant and another rant coming up when we're heading home. Right now we're just sitting at Bryant Park watching the people juggle. It's a nice day outside. All yes. week is going to be a scorcher. Yeah. But that's not what the rant's going to be about. <laughs> the rant we're going to be about today is being punctual. Yes. In layman's terms, being on time. <laughs> yeah, <Ow>. so. <laughs> I know, see, this is abusing the both of us. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so, yeah. If anybody knows me, knows I always try to be on time. Me too. I'm very, very, very strict about that. And it's not just because my school taught it to me. I personally am like this. Like, say if I tell you to be somewhere by 2 o'clock, I expect to see you at 2 o'clock. If you're beyond 2 or way before 2, I'm not going to be happy about it. When I say be on time, I mean be there at 2 o'clock. You come late, I have no patience. Yes, yeah, That's same. just how I am. Same here. So like, because <laughs> like, some, some things, you're going to have to have a time constraint. If they say be there at 1, you have to be there at 1. If you're there any later, they're going to tell you to go home. Mm -hmm. Work. School. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but a lot of people get so lazy in the fact that they think, oh, if I'm a few minutes late, it's not going to matter. Oh, uh, yes, it is. Yeah, and especially uh -huh. if I'm expecting you and I'm waiting. Let me just jump into that real quick. If I'm waiting for you, we're set to like go out somewhere and I'm saying meet me here at such and such time and you're not there and then you don't let me know. See, that's the thing. People don't let you know. Yeah. And you could call, text, say I'm going to be a little late and then I'm like, okay, then. Yeah. Uh, I, you have a legitimate excuse. Okay. But if you don't let me know a thing mm -hmm. and I'm just sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting for hours and hours, mm -hmm. after, the, after a while, I'm going to leave. I'm the same I'm way. Going. I'm not sticking around if you're not showing up. Exactly. You're wasting my time and other stuff that I could have been doing because you decided to be late. Exactly. And don't call to let nobody know. I don't like that. I don't like that neither. Like, and then, like, don't even try to give, like, an excuse, especially if you purposely plan on being late. Because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who pl purposely plan on being late, and then when you catch them out on something, right? You catch them out on something, then they want to give you a million and one excuses as to why they're late. I'll be like, you should have told me while I was waiting on you. Here's some popular excuses. The train didn't come. The I bus, overslept. I overslept. My drawers didn't fit. I couldn't find my other shoe. <laughs> then, I spilled turkey on my pants. I didn't know what to wear. My hair got cut off. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, any excuse in the book they'll use to be to justify why you're late, and it just doesn't make any sense. I don't like lateness. I don't neither. And I don't like, as a person of time, I don't like being late. Mm -hmm. If someone tells me, "Yeah, I need um, meet me here this such such time," okay, I'm going a little half hour early so I could be there. Exactly. That, that's just how I am. That's what I do too. Yeah. I do the same thing. Ugh. Like if somebody well, tell me, say for instance, if Laura tells me like every Tuesday, Laura three, tells me to meet her at three. Up. Yeah. What time am I normally here? A little before three. Thank you. And I'm here 10 minutes to three. Especially it's easier for her because she don't live too far from me. She lives right. like a couple of blocks from me, so she's like right there. And even if I'm late, and I'll even, be like, yeah, I'll tell her, she, I'll be like, I'm, I'm running a little late she today. She always lets me know at least. Yeah. I know a couple of friends that I have, they be purposely late all the time and then don't let me know to the last minute, oh, I'm running late. And I'm like, listen, I'm not been to be waiting around for you because I will say let's reschedule and I'll just go do my own thing because I don't like waiting. Exactly. The one thing I can't stand is waiting for people. I can't and I don't like people waiting for me. Yeah, exactly. I'm the same way. That's how it is. So mm -hmm. basically just be punctual, y'all. Like yeah. you have to learn punctuality. I know some people don't have a sense of time. They think, oh you know what I mean? they'll wait for me. No, it's not always gonna be like that. Exactly. Don't tell people to come when you wanna be there. The time that's convenient for you no it has to be convenient for the both of us not just for you you don't know if i'm doing anything or if i have another engagement after i hang out with you exactly i gotta be at or i gotta be home or whatever the case may be right you know like i always ask her whenever i meet up with her i always plan accordingly i always say sis you busy you got something to do she'll say no i'll say can i come and that's it we hit it we hit it all right there and the day is complete exactly you always have to ask somebody when are they busy just because you're free, it doesn't make them free. Exactly. And I learned that the hard way too. Because sometimes, I'm going to admit, sometimes I forget that. And sometimes I may think because I'm up early, I may think everyone up is early. Right. Up is, everyone else is up early. And I keep forgetting. I'll be like, everybody's not a morning person like me. I got to right, remember right. that. So you got to be considerate of the other person, not just yourself. Exactly. Mm. So pretty much in a nutshell, that's about it. Yeah. Just being punctual. 
learn to be on time, especially if you're one of those people that seem to consistently run late all the time. Uh -huh. Be on time. Because exactly. one day, I'm telling you, it's not going to fly. It's especially not. when it comes to work. Oh, um, yeah. Unless you want to get fired, you better be on time. Exactly. So, if you enjoyed this rant by me and my sis today, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Like, comment, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe Why? to our channels. More like what to find me for the East Berlin Stupid bird. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. But that freaking just did a, a freaking 747 over my head. Oh, he no. Nah. Like, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't write this stuff. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. And, and that's, that's the end of our end. Bye, guys. Mm. <laughs>